Nathan Epstein joins us live from Baltimore. Nathan, I know that the William & Mary fans are excited about breaking the streak. Excited, pumped, ready to rock and roll, and ready for history, as evidenced by the fans that were actually filed out front of this arena at 445, just waiting for a ticket. A fan base that, just like the team, is very hungry. I think this is the year. I think Marcus Thornton is a great leader for our team, and I think we have a lot of talent, even from the freshmen. We actually were in the um, Buffalo Wild Wings in Williamsburg, and the place went absolutely crazy when, when uh, Dixon hit that shot. We were high-fiving people we never met before. This is the year. That's what we've been saying on the whole ride up here. This is absolutely the year. I am from Virginia Beach. I've grown up in Tidewater my Go whole time. life. I've been waiting for William & Mary to make it happen. They're making it happen this year. Coach Tony Shaver, assistant head coach history John Holmes. tonight. History we, now. We make history tonight. How about it, Bruce? Come on. Yeah, tip off in about 30 minutes. Both teams on the floor warming up right now at Royal Farms Arena in Baltimore. And I know you're going to have the highlights at 1045. History could be tonight, Bruce. Nathan, let me ask you one question. You're there. What do you think? I tell you right now, again, we've spoken to a lot of fans, and look, the fans very well know that they are just one of five Division I programs to never have made the tournament. I spoke to one fan who said he's ready to make it four. But is this team good enough? They've got Marcus Thornton. This is one of the best William & Mary teams in years. Are they good enough? Can they handle the pressure and bring it home? Handling the pressure, I think they can. You know, Marcus Thornton, he's a leader on that team, and he pretty much willed that team to win against Hofstra. He scored 37, tied a career high. Now, if there's anything Tony Shaver might be a little concerned about, it's three-point defense. Hofstra made 12 yesterday. And again, Northeastern, a team that William & Mary split with, so one that William & Mary very capable of beating, and they did so very, very well at home earlier in the season. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. All right, great job, Nathan. We'll talk to you tonight. We'll be watching the game along with Tribe fans. We'll have complete coverage coming up on the Fox 43 News at 10 and at 1045 on the Fox 43 Sports Wrap. And, of course, I'll be back here at 11, a big night for William & Mary fans.